So this is the story of how I met Ho Yong Jung from Squid Game. You might be thinking, well Matthew, why are you making this video now when you met her last summer? Is it because Netflix just released a Squid Game series and you want to go viral? Well, obviously it is. <laughs> I just wanted to apologise to uh, all my friends that I've told this story to, but I guess here you are. Basically, I had a package that I had to deliver that day, and for some reason I left it till that Monday. Uh, but also, like it was literally by chance. It was crazy because none of the post offices that were near me worked, and so that was really the only reason I went to Soho. And then once I reached. Soho, I think it's called like Earnshaw Street next to TCR Tottenham Court Road Station, uh, where there's that th those sorts of orange and yellow buildings, uh, and there's like a courtyard where Ipudo is basically. So I was walking through there with my phone, with my package. I think I've got a photo with my phone on my package, looking down my phone to to sort of look at the directions, and then I stopped for a second, looked up just to get my bearings right. And so I'm looking around, looking around, where do I go? And I see someone like just porched on like a table tennis table. Um, she was literally just sat outside on the table tennis table, like one of the most famous people ever. Uh, and so I look around, there's barely anyone there. It's just like me and her basically. So I'm looking at her and like after a good like five minutes, of, I mean I wasn't staring at her, maybe it was, I don't know. But anyway, after that, after I looked at her for a good like five minutes and did loads of double takes, I realised who she was and I was like, oh my days. But like, like my heart was racing, I was sweating as well because it was also really hot that day. But yeah, we sort of made eye contact and her friend came over and they met up and they went inside Ipudo to have lunch. After that I needed the toilet, so I went to the toilet and then I posted my package and then one of my friends called me because I posted this on my story, I posted a photo saying that a photo <laughs> I posted a photo of me um, on my Instagram story saying that I met her or I saw her in real life sorry. And then after that I got a phone call from a friend and she was like Yo Matthew you need to go back. You need to like whatever you do you have to, you have to get a photo with her because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And so after that, you know, I was like, okay, fine, fine. I'm gonna wait it out, I'm gonna play the long game. And so I went back and bear in mind there were like a few more people now just like sat in the courtyard. And so I sat down outside for an hour, a whole hour, waiting for her and her friend to come out so I could ask for a photo, but also, during that hour, I was obviously like crapping myself and I kept like planning on what to say. They come out, her and her friend, and I walk kind of like slowly, like, you know, I don't want to run up to a celebrity, but I walked slowly up to her and her friend and I was like, excuse me, but are you Ho Yon? And she was like, yes, I am. It's very nice to meet you. I was like, oh my days, man. And I was like, I'm such a big fan, can I just get a quick photo please? And originally, I handed my phone to a friend because I wanted a full body photo just because it looks nicer than a selfie. And her friend was like, no, no, no. But I guess probably because she didn't want to um, like like gain attention around, around them too. There were no bodyguards as well. It was literally just her and her friend. And then Hoyon was just like, it's okay, we can just take a selfie. And so we took a few, and then after that, I left. And I was like ecstatic, obviously. In that courtyard in Earnshaw Street, there's like three ways you can get in. So they went out one way, I went out the other way, but as I walked around, I saw them again. So that was a bit awkward. Then that was that, and then I walked away and went about my day. But to celebrate, to celebrate, I bought myself, I think, I think I spent like seven pounds on a bubble tea. But that's the story, that's the story. And yeah, it was just crazy. Just a quick plug. So I have a photography project, a personal one that I'm working on at the moment. 
It's called Home Away From Home and it is basically highlighting the lives of British born Chinese individuals just like myself and talking about celebrities I would love to get Gemma Chan and Benedict Wong involved so if any of you have any contact whatsoever with them even if it's just a tiny lead please let me know on my social media or give me an email. So I hope you liked this video, it's obviously something that I don't usually talk about <laughs> obviously but yeah I hope you enjoyed it and if you could give a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share it with a friend who is also a fan of Ho Yong Jung. So yeah, uh, having said all that, thank you and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.